What is up you guys? It is your boy Diamond here at Common Sense Graphics. And you already know what day it is today. It is Annie Monday. And today, I'm going to be drawing some fan art. One of my most favorite characters in all of anime history. And that is Haruno Haruko from FLCL. And this one was a bit fun for me because I decided to make her a little bit of, of like a bad bitch. You know, a little, little bit of a baddie. And I had some fun with it. I gave her some extra curves here and there and some things. And I had my reference image to the side just so I could see what I was doing while I was making this character and it's a lot of fun but let's jump right into phase one the skeletal form all right so you guys already know my style of art and pretty much I always start off with the basic skeletal form and that's gonna be drawing like the fruits and vegetables the tubes and cylinders for example right now I'm drawing her lower half and as her center of mass I drew like a big humongous circle or like an orange if you will um, and for her legs that's usually like bowling pins or just tubes or like let's say like pieces of candy you can think of I always use food as my example because it's the most easiest thing to picture in your mind very easy shapes and as we start to progress to the upper parts of the body, I cannot stress this enough. Pretty much every single one of my characters, I always say this. When you're making the chest area, when you're making the torso, always use an upside down triangle or guitar pick. You can skewer it in whatever way depending on your character's body position. But if you do this method, then it is extremely easy just to get that torso area down. And for arms and things, it's always going to be the same type of shape. It's going to be your weird looking cylinders. Think about baby carrots if you will baby carrots and cucumbers and bananas um, very simple very easy to do and very easy to follow with and um, when it came to drawing hands I, I, I just suck at hands so I always draw like a big old giant circle um, circles is something I use for a lot of things for placeholders personally and I highly recommend you use that method it's good for your heads good for your chest your hands and it's good for shoulders just to figure out where things are at while you're doing your sketching form and your skeletal form as I am doing right here in the base skeletal form and the base skeletal form what I'm showing you right here is again like I said a very good method to feel things out where you can start into rough sketch in more proper lines and things um, just to get it out the way before you start putting clothing onto your character as you see here I'm now drawing in uh, where the curves would be from her butt to her back where the arc or if you will would that be placed at and I'll start drawing in her breast a, a bit more fuller uh, maybe th legs and thighs and then I can begin to start deleting some of the uh, extra lines the excess lines that I don't want to see anymore um, so when I'm doing the next phase I'm able to visualize what I'm doing easier so it's just easy to clean up just a little bit but um, that will be pretty much it for phase one the skeletal form and then we can start moving on to phase two which is adding uh, features such as clothing facial features uh, more parts of the body uh, you know pants and things like that just to show what is there so on to phase two, the detail phase. Um, personally, this is going to be probably more, one of the most easiest phases. Since I'm doing fan art and I do have a really good reference uh, to my side, it's going to be very simple. I actually decided to change my character up a little bit. Instead of giving her a guitar, I wanted her to just hold like a baseball and she's going to throw a pitch. So it was a bit easier for me. I just got rid of the guitar. I didn't think it was necessary. But um, on this phase, realistically, if you have a good reference like I do, it's very simple to just follow your skeleton lines and then just go from there. And I really did enjoy this part just because um, how quick it was for me, how easy it was for me. Uh, the more practice you do uh, creating artistic stuff like this, the better you are and the faster you'll get at it. Uh, great example for me right here. Um, this is just fan art though, so it is extremely easier than doing your own creation. There's no serious thought going into it. You're just drawing or illustrating or just creating. And so it's very simple, very fast. And for me, that's why the clothing phase was the easiest phase out overall, just because I have my reference to me to the right and it was easy. Um, if any of you guys are doing this with a reference, if you guys are creating fan art of any kind and you guys have a reference, if you're copying off something from the actual TV or just something that was already fan made, then I highly recommend you guys give it a um, give it a chance. You know, just freehand it, have some fun with it because it really does help improve skills. As you see here, I'm just banging out this character like it's nothing because I have a good grasp on what this character is looking like with my base skeletal form and I'm now just adding on to it over the top of it just to add the clothing and adding more detail. 
and like I said do not be afraid to experiment um, for example me I am doing things a bit differently than the image that you see to the right I am gonna draw her without her guitar I'm gonna have her bottom hand the one in front of her leg I'm gonna have it be holding a baseball instead of being open and I think I'm gonna give her head more of an upward angle um, and I decided to want to give her a bit more curves in the butt area just to show her like I said I wanted to make her kind of a baddie so it's a uh, you know it's different so when you're making art like this fan art of someone else's creation um for example i think this is made by what toei animation something like that some show some japanese anime show flco and um pretty much i'm trying to make it into my own thing by just having fun with the image and it's a lot of fun like i said realistically you just gotta play around and do not be afraid to change things just uh Make sure you just do it nice and slow. There's never no rush in these type of things unless you're being commissioned by someone who wants it now. Uh, you'll never have to worry about that. But just have fun with it. I mean, like you said, like, like I said, um, just uh, plug and play. Do not be afraid with it. And that's pretty much going to bring us to a closer of the detail phase. I'm going to skip to the line art phase and the coloring phase um, like I usually do. I'm going to speed the video up and proceed to that. If you guys want any tutorials on how to do the coloring phase, please let your boy know and I will deliver. But you know who it is. It's your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Slap that like button. Slap the bell icon. Subscribe. All that bullshit. You already know who it be. Rate, comment, subscribe, your boy out.